Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about Beirut Goes Boom. That happened last week, and we're going to discuss it tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you saw the events um, that happened in Lebanon and Beirut last week. It was absolutely extraordinary, wasn't it? I mean, really, to an onlooker, it looked almost like a mini nuclear weapon was detonated um, in the port of Beirut. Obviously, it, uh, we don't think it was a mini nuclear weapon. It was some kind of uh, ammonia nitrate explosion. So, you know, I mean, what was going on there? Well, first of all, we need to have a look at the background a little bit. Tensions between uh, Israel and Lebanon had been um, boiling for over a month. And um, there had been Hezbollah attacks upon um, Israel and there'd been some border skirmishes and there'd been some stuff going on with Syria as well. I mean, and there were threats from President um, Netanyahu towards Lebanon, um, you know, almost days before the, uh, the explosion in Lebanon. The question of was Israel involved in that explosion, I, I would say um, yes, absolutely. I'd say that yes, it was an attack upon um, uh, Lebanon, but I mean, you do need to quantify that a little bit because I do think what they hit was a weapons dump. What Israel did hit was a large storage of um, explosive um, ammunition and stuff that was kept there probably by Hezbollah, um, by the state of Lebanon. And this is why um, I think the actual state of uh, Lebanon itself is not admitting, you know, is not saying it's Israel, because um, what they were basically doing is they were having a weapons dump right in downtown Beirut, where they thought Israel would never bomb because it would obviously hurt so many civilians. I mean, I don't know how many people died, but it's thousands by now, surely. So I think that's why the uh, Lebanon's, Lebanon government doesn't admit what was going on, because they had a, and a weapons dump, essentially, um, you know, like, like as a human shield. They had the citizens of Beirut as a kind of human shield to the weapons dump. And I think probably under normal circumstances, Israel wouldn't hit it. Um, but as things are escalating, obviously the decision was made to hit it. Um, now, whether the, it was just the fire that was started that, that lit it, that set off the explosion, but there have been many uh, videos online of a kind of missile um, uh, hitting the hitting the site. So to me, it looked like probably the fire was lit to start the fireworks all going and then a bomb or some other explosive device. Um, was sent in and that also set off the, um, the weapons dump. So that's what I think happened, um, you know, in Beirut. And um, I think you're going to see uh, an expansion of this kind of activity in the Middle East. Um, there was a kind of uh, peace treaty um, recently with the United Arab Emirates. Um, Israel, um, shortly before September 11, did a uh, peace treaty with Saudi Arabia. So some of the royal um, Arab states are aligning now with Israel. I think the general plan is to carve up the Middle East between them. Um, there's always been plans for a greater Israel, um, that Israel is going to be a lot bigger. So people um, worry about the plight of the Palestinians. I think we can safely say the Palestinians are doomed. Um, they will probably be not only, um, they'll probably be kicked out of what used to be Palestine, and that will entirely be made the state of Israel. And not only that, the state of Israel will be expanding into uh, Lebanon, into Syria, um, into Jordan and other states. And I don't know the exact new borders that are going to be established, but um, it's probably going to be worked out with Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and you know probably a couple other of the uh, Qatar countries like this, as long as they play ball. So that is my interpretation of the geopolitics of what's going on. I do believe that, uh, the state of Israel was involved in the explosion. Um, I can't be 100% sure, so if they're not, I do apologise, but it could technically have been a an accident, some kind of fire that did set off this weapon stuff, that is possible, I admit that, but I really think, um, considering the circumstances, considering the escalation of um, events in um, Lebanon and in Israel of late, and the threats from Bibi towards um, Lebanon, and the fact that there was this gigantic explosion almost a week later, um, really points um, to their hand in this. Um, and uh, this is a very dangerous situation. Obviously, it will lead to a huge escalation of the conflict in the Middle East rather than it settling down. So, you know, it's something of concern, I think, um, to us all on the new right, but also people who are left wing and are concerned about the situation there and the human rights catastrophe of the Middle East. So I just wanted to talk about it today and thank you for listening.